Becky and Chuck Hagenbaugh, and they live in Pennsylvania, Central PA. They've been there probably about 20 years. This is where they chose to retire, but originally we were from New Jersey. And my dad was uh, an exec at at and and mom ran her own ad agency. I hadn't necessarily noticed anything specifically um, about either of them, other than, you know, the typical things that you notice in aging. They're slowing down, they're not as active. And last um, Mother's Day, ironically enough, um, I had a conversation with both of them um, for Mother's Day, and they revealed to me that she had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, which really took me uh, really off guard because I hadn't seen anything uh, noticeable. My mother quickly deteriorated in the span of June to the end of July, went from being able to walk into a restaurant and engage in conversation to someone who couldn't walk, um, was completely um, chair and bedridden. She had a stroke in October, and quite literally about the same day or uh, day or two before my dad would just happened to be reading the paper. The fact that he had time to read the paper is part of the miraculous part of the story. Um, and it was a little health column in their local paper that someone had written in um, about hydrocephalus and um, that it is oftentimes misdiagnosed as Alzheimer's. And he, uh, he read the symptoms and it was literally down the line, my mother. And so when he went in to meet with the neurologists about her stroke, he said to them, I'm a desperate man, I understand, but this seems to be my wife right down the line. Could there be any chance that she actually is suffering from hydrocephalus? And the neurologist looked at it and looked at her MRIs, and long story short, that's what her condition really was. She's had brain surgery, and it's, it's relatively curable, um, but even with that, it's a long recovery. It's so incredibly overwhelming and you want to make decisions that are emotionally based and you know I watched my dad struggle with watching his own wife dissolve literally in front of his eyes and yet try to keep a clear head with medicine schedules and doctor's appointments and taking care of his own medical needs and cooking and cleaning and he can't, he couldn't do it. It was happening so fast and he had no, no ability to keep pace with what was happening to her that in some sense I felt like my goal was really, we could find someone to help my mom but he needed a lot of emotional support and otherwise.